Hey guys, welcome back to Bikani's Garage. Saturday morning, it's way too early. And the MX-5 is going for MOT. And I'll give you a little update as well. Uh, you can't tell because it got dirty since then, but new tires and the wheel have been fully refurbished inside and out. Painted with a little bit of blue flake in there as well. And the bonnet has been fixed. But anyway, let's get it started and let's get it to aid so it gets a MOT. Paint job not holding on well at all. No hair. You can see. I love the way do it all stuck. Anyway, let's start if it starts. Huh? Let's see if it starts. It's morning, so you know. I might be talking rubbish. All good. I did that to recharge the battery yesterday, so. I wiped that bloody windscreen so I can see something and I can actually go. But uh, yeah, you know, otherwise it's working. All right, you know, a bit stinky. Yesterday it smoked for like forever. Unfortunately, as you see, my S3 is behind. So, so now my S3 sort of stink a bit inside as well, but it will pass. So, you know, we very much still have the MX-5. I've sorted the house now. I don't think I'm going to sell it. Um, what I'm thinking of doing though is maybe like redo the inside because the pet is not holding on that well. And uh, yeah, maybe still crack on when you've got the new house, you can just get the body kit, pass your chip and get it done. I should clear up that back bit though, well, you should not. Oh. <laughs> Alright. Let's make a move. First drive in month. Last time he was moved, it was only from the shop to here, and that was already like a bunch of months back now. Well, it was nearly since Go Japan, so <laughs> it's literally been sitting here for bloody months. It's my S3 behind, so it's not try let's try not to crash into it. And then probably I'm going to put you guys down, but we'll see from there. Huh? We'll see when it falls. Take the top down. It's all part of a convertible, isn't it? It's cold out, but... Oh. I see. They get full of water, those bloody cars, when you lead them. Tell you what, maybe I'll to put you in my pocket. There you go. And here we go. The MX-5 got MOT. It's perfect. As we all know, obviously. Alright, just go home, I guess. And here we go, the MX-5 got a fresh MOT. And I can start using it again. And I will soon, because the Audi S3 is going to go into Rob Shed for a while, so I'm going to have to daily the MX-5, which will be very nice. Literally, today was his first drive in like months and months. The last time he drove, he drove from like the shop around the corner to his parking spot, which was like probably not even a hundred meters, so you know. As you can see, I've been like, like, oh, do I sell it, do I not sell it? I managed to like sort out the house finance without selling it, so I'm probably going to keep it. What I'm going to redo though is the painting of the dash. It really like, it did not like the sun, <laughs> even like the sticker kind of like slided down because the paint was like just so liquid. Um, so I'll redo it with like a proper paint and probably redo the inside as well actually to be honest. Uh, uh, yeah, 
really liked it at the time. Now I'm not too sure about it, so yeah, probably do that. And uh, when we actually have a garage we can work on, uh, which I might try to like free up actually the garage we have and like get rid of like the old Corvette stuff so that we can work on this and maybe put a body kit on it on what I was thinking because it's blue and Aid is already doing the, uh, you know, supporting autism awareness. I was thinking doing the uh, mental health matters with this one because the blue is sort of similar to Mind, which Mind is a UK charity that basically helps people who struggle with mental health. And I actually used to volunteer in one of their shops years ago on the high street in Colchester when it was actually open. Now they don't have a shop anymore there. So yeah, I really, I always kind of like the idea of doing something charity based and I think it would be great. So basically, you know, to start with a bit like aid, not necessarily be obsessed with power. After, don't forget, we still have another engine with a manual gearbox. I already have a custom ECU. So, you know, we've already got a fair amount of bits and bobs to actually do a turbo engine. We could drop in it and convert this into a manual. So this is still very much a plan if we keep it. And uh, yeah, basically that will be nice because if I go to car show with aid and stuff, he can have his uh, project D with the project awareness and then the MX-5 could sit next to him with a mental health matters message and, you know, yeah, just basically join effort, you know. I, I love aid, you know, he's a really good guy. So, you know, it, you know, it'd be nice to like do even more stuff with him, even more excuses to hang out. Um, but yeah, guys, you know, yeah, it was really just to give you a quick update, uh, you know, you still, I don't see like the wheels done and stuff <laughs> here, they're dirty, but you know, they are really mint, like the inside was so crusty, it was just crazy, you know, you couldn't, there wasn't a smooth surface, when now even the inside is like smooth as you like, and today I check, could check underneath when it was in the ramp, at the MOT station and uh, yeah underneath there is a bit of like crusty but really it's really good you know it's really just a bit of like uh, we need to have a session of clearing up the surface rust and basically good putting a good coat of protection on then you know should be good to go for years to come considering the old girl got 193,889 kilometers on the clock It'll be nice actually to bring it to uh, 200,000 and then we could actually do an episode about that. Like when you get close to it, just take it on a road trip to pop that 2,000. 200,000, sorry. Yeah. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Don't worry, there will be more MX-5 content. I know some of you prefer the MX-5 over the rest. It's just logistic at the moment, guy. Waiting for the garage. My front room is like stuck. The garage is stuck. The house is not sorted. When we've got the house, all the cars are going to get tons of love, plenty of content. Anyway, see you in the next one. Bye bye.